Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivier and I am a mindfulness meditation teacher. And in today's video, I am going to share with you some tips on how you can practice meditation more consistently. If you are interested in mindfulness meditation and want to learn more about it, consider subscribing to my channel. Every Tuesday, I post a new video on this topic and I show you how you can apply this tool in your daily life. Having a regular meditation practice can be very challenging, especially at the beginning. And it is the case for pretty much everybody who starts meditation. So I wanted to share with you some tips on how you can practice more consistently, more regularly, and make meditation a daily habit. So my first tip to meditate regularly is to start small. Maybe you have the idea that you want to meditate at least 10 or 15 minutes a day, but you realize that you don't find the time to do it. So why don't you just try to meditate for five minutes or even three minutes? And if you can stick to that, then practice just 10 mindful breaths a day. You don't have to meditate for a long time to experience the benefits of meditation. In meditation, we talk about two types of practices. There is the formal practice, which is when we set time aside and dedicate this time to practice meditation. And we also have the informal practice. This is where we practice mindful breathing throughout the day. Say you're waiting in line at the grocery store or waiting for the green light uh, to turn on. So you can practice a few mindful breaths throughout your day like this. The formal practice and the informal practice are both important. They both feed each other. When you sit for 10 minutes a day, so that's your formal practice, this will help you to slow down and remember to breathe through your day. And vice versa, if you practice mindful breathing throughout your day, this will help you to slow down and make it easier for you to get into your sitting practice. The thing that is challenging at the beginning is to find time to sit and meditate. And we find it difficult because we've had this habit energy of running since we were kids. So it is actually hard to slow down and to stop, especially the busier we are. The busier we are, the less we think we have time to meditate, but it's actually the most important thing that we could do for ourselves. So keep that in mind. Practice just a few mindful breaths a day if you feel you don't have time to meditate for 10 minutes. This will help you stay connected to the practice and remember, remind you of the benefits of breathing mindfully. The second tip is to have reminders. Because at the beginning, our meditation habit is not very strong, life gets in the way, and we just forget at some point to meditate. So it is useful to have some types of reminder. That can be a reminder on your phone by setting an alarm, say in the morning or at night, to to, to practice meditation or even just to practice 10 mindful breath. It can be a reminder on your calendar or it can be an object uh, in your house that reminds you of the practice. But for me, the, what has worked the best is to have a corner in my house that is dedicated to meditation. I'm going to show you now what it looks like. So here we are, we are in my bedroom and this is my little corner where I meditate. I have a, a little mat and a bench and a little altar. I'm going to show you how I have set up my altar and just to give you some inspiration. On my altar, I have a meditation bell that I use when I start my meditation. And when I finish it, I invite the bell. I have some incense that I burn sometimes. I have a little tiny Buddha, a picture of Zen master Tidya Han, from who I have learned uh, a great deal, and a little booklet that I read uh, on a regular basis. And by having this setup, this corner right in front of my bed, this is my dog San, by the way, um, I am reminded always to, to meditate in the morning when I wake up, but also at night. So, that's just to give you some ideas on how you can set up your little corner for meditation. If you have challenges to have a regular practice, please let me know what is holding you back using the comment sections below. The third tip is to remember your intention. When you start your sitting practice, take a moment 
to remind yourself why you are practicing meditation. Maybe you have a hectic schedule and meditation is the only moment in your day that you can feel a little bit more calm, relaxed and at ease. A Zen nun one time gave me this analogy on why we should meditate every day. If I have to run a marathon, I will not train the day of the race. I will train months before the race. So the same thing goes for meditation. We practice every day so that when the storm comes, the storm of strong emotions, when we feel a lot of anxiety and stress or fear or worries, we will remember of the practice and we will be able to apply it in that moment so that we can reduce our stress or anxiety or worries and fears. The fourth tip is to join or create a meditation group. In my own experience, joining a meditation group was the single most effective tip that helped me build a consistent practice at the beginning. I will often not meditate throughout the week, but by going to the meditation group, which was on Saturday mornings, I was sure that I would meditate at least once a week. And it really feels like joining a group exercise in, some, in many ways. By joining a meditation group, we feel inspired by others to practice. We also feel accountable. There are many meditation groups throughout the world. I'm going to post a link in the descriptions below on where you can find such meditation groups. And my last tip for today is just enjoy the practice. Last week I gave you some tips on how you could do that, but today I want to share with you another one. At the end of each sitting practice, I make a mental list of five or ten things that I am grateful for. And I go through each of these items, and for each of these items, each of these conditions of happiness, I take a moment and I try to fully appreciate them. We spend a lot of time planning, thinking, ruminating on worries and feeling stressed. But how much time do we actually spend appreciating the conditions of happiness that are in us and around us? We know that things are impermanent, things will change at some point. So why can't we appreciate the conditions of happiness that we have here? So for example for me, I go through my body and I become appreciative of being able to see properly, to hear properly, that I have a healthy heart, that I have no pain in my body. I appreciate the conditions of happiness outside of me, that I have a roof, that I have food, that I live in a safe environment, and so on and so on. And the more we practice this gratitude exercise, the more we will be able to enjoy the little things in our daily life. If you have a regular meditation practice, please let me know what has helped you the most by using the comment sections below so that others can read them and benefit from them. If you have found the content of this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button below and don't forget to share it with your friends and family if you think the content will be helpful to them. In next week's video, I will answer the question whether or not we can meditate while listening to music. So, Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.